Was. Good. Y'all hope you having a blessed day. Now, as you see on the screen, we got the top 30 ugliest basketball shoes ever made. I'm a sneakerhead myself. I had roughly 10 to 15 people DM me this link or whatnot on Instagram. They was like, "Yo, Troyden did this. You should react to it." Now, I'm not gonna lie. We've been doing uh, we've been doing a lot of reaction videos recently. And I know what you're probably sitting there thinking, sorry, I gotta turn that down. I know what you're probably sitting there thinking, yo, Matt, why don't you just make a reaction channel? I'm not big enough. Whenever we hit 100,000 subscribers, I will definitely do that. But anyways, we got the top 30 ugliest shoes. I'm a sneakerhead myself, like I said, so we're gonna get straight into it. No need to waste no time. Shout out to Troy Dan, because a lot of people said he was doing this video. I have not seen it, so let's get into it. Coming in. At number 30, we got the BBB, man, the ZO2s. I remember when these came out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be rating these on a scale of 1 to 10, my preference. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Oh, uh, I'm not going to lie. You know, everybody was giving a lot of hate, you know, on these. But I'm a Kobe person, and these kind of look similar to the Kobe 9s, in my opinion. So, looks-wise, they don't look that bad, but they were just terrible overall shoes. If I'm going off of looks, I'm gonna have to go with, I'm gonna have to go with a seven or six, but that, that was a terrible shoe. I can't believe they're only at 30. That brought back so many memories. 29, the British, not BK, what is this, the Burger King? Oh, the British Kings, yo! That's a Burger King knockoff, yo. Those are like some knockoff cement forms, <laughs> like. Oh, uh, bro, that was just bad. The BK, you know, anytime anyone sees that, they're just gonna think of straight up Burger King. You're gonna get roasted for them. I feel bad if you ever bought these. Uh, I'm gonna assume they're from Britain or whatnot. I might have to go with, uh, dude, those are bad. If you take out the BK, they ain't that bad, but with the BK, I might have to go with a two guys. Some are bad. 28 Converse Wade slash 2009. So these are Dwayne Wade's. Dwayne Wade, get your slash to the hoop. Okay. What it say? But these shoes have been just that slashed up. Yeah, these are bad. These are a collab with Converse. Not too much to say. These are just an ugly shoe. I'm going to have to go with... Dang, dude. I would never wear... I'm going to have to go with a two on them. Them are so bad. 27. Nike LeBron Soldiers. These ain't that bad. I kind of like these. I... They're not bad. Like, I'm expecting some bad shoes. These are supposed to be the ugliest shoes of all time. These ain't that bad. I kind of like the straps. The bottom look wavy. You know, you got that teal blue. These ain't that bad, you know? I don't, why are these on here? 2009 must have been a bad year. I really didn't think anyone could be worse than the previous Wades. But I was wrong. Come on, Kane. These are like something between wingtips, baseball cleats, and tap dancing shoes. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That was a great comparison they really do look like baseball cleats and tap dancing shoes because of the shine okay i can see where he's coming from whoever made this list i don't think those are that bad though 26 the phone posit max 1998 dang these came out before i was born i feel like that's got a little uh you know retro look a lot of old school people would rock those but yeah, they're pretty bad just because of this whole, like, is that supposed to be fire or tree limbs? Uh, I don't know, coach. I don't know about that. Tim Duncan's? These were Tim Duncan's? I didn't even know he had a shoe. Yo. Scale 1 to 10. Did I rate these? Oh, yeah, I forgot to rate these. Oh, these, I gotta go. Shoot, I'm going with a 6. They ain't that bad, for real. Right here, I'm gonna go with a 3. I really don't like them. They're kind of ugly. 25. Dang, we just roasted LeBron. We got the LeBron B. Bro, these are like some. What is the word? Like emo kid shoes. Like, I feel like an emo kid would be rocking these with some jeans. Like a school shooter type of vibes. You know, you got that little metal. Like emo. That's what I'm talking about. Did I say emo? I don't know. Like death metal. These are like some death metal. These are terrible. Nah, bro. That's an L for my boy LeBron. He got the strap on him. Yeah, these don't look like basketball shoes. I'm going to have to go to one. That's a bad cap, man. 24, Carl Malone. What are these? I didn't know Carl Malone had shoes. Why on earth would an NBA superstar align himself with a light-up shoe company? Luckily, that tech got banned from the NBA. Okay, so these are a collab with Hirachis and Jordan 5. Wait, okay. What are these shoes? 
They just don't like basketball shoes. No, nah, ain't too much to say. I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with a two. 2030 Air Jordans. These are Jordans? Dude, them are so ugly. They don't like house shoes. That kind of... That ain't that bad. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going with a three on them. What is going on up here? 22. Allen Iverson Reebok. Dude, that's a one straight up. That is so bad. There's no color. At least on some of the other ones. They may be ugly, but they got color to them. That is so bad. 21, Joakim Noah. Nah, what is this? Firstly, why did Joakim get a signature show? Fact. Secondly, what the heck is this? What is that? Is that a rooster? Is that supposed to be a rooster or a heart? Oh, man, it was so bad. That's just because it's got some Spider-Man colors. and I'm going to give it a two. It could be worse. Oh, no, these are bad. I feel like a lot of people would somewhat like these because they remind me of some Jordans. The T-Mac 4s. I feel like I'm talking into the drop-through speaker box here. Bro. Oh, man. No. Bro. It do. It look like the drop-through speaker. I'm going to go with a 1 because I really don't like Adidas and this really didn't help their case at all. 19. Kevin Garnett Adidas Bounce. These don't look that bad. Got the air bubble. That was before it's time too, 2006. These are so weak, I don't even know where to begin. They could have been worse. I'm going with a four. I really messed with the air bubble. 18, the 2010 Jordans. Oh, dude, what are these? These are like some Adidas shoes. Another pair where I feel like I'm ordered to make chicken just looking at it. Yo, it, it do it like the speaker. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a three. 17, the Reebok Blast, 1996. Okay, I know these are crazy. I don't like Reebok, but these don't look that bad. Okay, just hear me out. You know, you got the mismatch splat. I like that. These were ahead of their time. If these came out this year, I guarantee you, if you put a Nike logo where that Reebok is, people would buy these. If you were to show me these, and I don't even know what that is. 16. Nike Air Max, a lot. These, I'm telling you, 2010, ah. Yeah, these are just bad shoes. I was going to say they were ahead of their time, but 2010, not really. Yeah, we. It, the shape is it, bad. It looked like a dress shoe, you know. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a two. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go with a solid two, for real. Coming in at number 15, oh, Everybody somewhat remembers these. You know, you got the Starberry ones. If you ain't seen somebody wearing these, I don't know what to tell you. I feel like I've seen at least a couple people wear them. Yeah, I mean, low price shoe. But it was just so bland. I'm, I'm, going, with, I'm going with a two, just because of the North Carolina blue. Dang, back to back, the year later, the Starberry twos. Dang, they are some bad shoes. I'll give this to Stefan. This had a lot more design input. It did. But, dude, the design is so bad. At least he signed it, I guess. I don't know, man. That's a one, bro. It's got that Auburn colorway. That makes it even worse. All the Baron Davis Lee Nings. Ching Chong. Oh, 2009. Is that his face on it? Yeah, Baron Davis had a signature line. It wasn't great, but that tongue icon... <laughs> Yeah, I, I, dude, that's a one. These are like some kid shoes. Number 12. Nike Air Jordan. 1999. I mean, I don't like all black, but a lot of people do. These don't look that bad. I mean, for number 12, I mean, I've seen, like, the previous one look terrible. I don't know about this one, Chief. I, uh, it ain't good. I'm going to give it a four. That's one of the better ones we've seen. Number 11, Glenn Rice's Nautica competition. What are these? Oh my goodness. Look like some New Balance. Oh man, these, yeah, just like this dude said, the tennis nursing home drip. Yeah, these got to go. Number 10, every Jordan Fusion ever made. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen these before in person. I guess 
there's a reason why because these are mad ugly. Oh, I didn't even rate these. Oh, these are like a two out of ten for real. These, I'm gonna give them a three. They could be worse. Number nine, Latrell Sprewell's Spinners. Yo, I've never. Is that like? Does that spin? Yo, if that spins, this right here, this is a dub. I don't care. Wait, is it gonna say if it spins? I know it upset a lot of people on this, but gimmicks aged badly. Spinner aside, the rest of the shoe is lifeless dead. Yeah, so it does spin. That's why I said spinner aside. Bro, just because it's got the spinner, I'm giving it a six, bro. That's lit. Imagine walking down the hallway, just spin that thing, get all the girls. Number eight. Ooh, Dwayne Wade Converse ones. Yeah, there's not too much to say about this. He's that Freddy Krueger ones. That's a one out of ten. Come on, Dwayne Wade. Number seven, Nike Sharkly 2008. What is a Nike Sharkly? What the heck is this? What is this? What in the world is this, yo? Bro, look like somebody shot some BBs in it. Nah. That's a 1 out of 10. Them are so bad. Number six, Chris what ooh, them chrome? Yeah, that's that's bad. That's a one. And one's chosen ones. What the fudge? Bro, they stole crocs. These are crocs. These are hooping crocs. How this down up looking croc made it to the market, I'll never know. Bro. Whoever, who approved of the, like, who was in the marketing room and was like, all right, guys, we got a hit, let's ship, bro, like, there's no way you thought this was a good idea. This has to be a troll. There's no way someone in their right mind would send a shoe out like this thinking it would sell. I don't know. Life's crazy, man. You can just, I, bro, people will buy anything. Oh, man. What is this? This is like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Nike 4. The flight posits. Okay, here's the thing with foams. Foams, like like this guy said, foams are notoriously ugly. Like, they're actually, like, they do that ugly look. But this, this is just bad. Like, this is bad. Nah, man, that's a one. I'm ready for this top three. If y'all enjoying the reaction, if I should do more, let me know in the comment section. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. Let's get into the top three. Number three, Gilbert Arenas Adidas Light Switch. These are not worse than, bro, how, dude, four and five should be one and two. Bro, I need to see something crazy for one and two. Dude, these ain't even that bad compared to, like, these ain't that bad to be on top three. The Adidas Light Switch. Oh, you can customize them. I've gotten a lot of love for him. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, they promised to make you jump higher? Bro, the fact that you can customize... They shouldn't even be on here. That's kind of cool for real. Because when they come out. In 2007, like now people customize shoes. But back then, people definitely did not customize shoes. Two. Number two. Reebok Preachers. Okay, I can see why these are number two. These are bad. Are these shacks? Are these shacks? There's not one thing about this sneaker that I can say is good. Not not even okay. Looks like it's growing barnacles. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's worse than this one, though, and this one. These are so bad. It's bad, but I think they got the order wrong. They got to shot me with number one. Of course, I'm rating that a one. Number one. We on the list. Oh my goodness. Adidas Kobe 2. Did Kobe sign with Adidas? What? I thought he's always been Nike. Let's read what he said. Would any sneakers... No, we're not talking about... Oh, these aren't basketball shoes. We're talking about all... Oh, wait, what? They are basketball shoes. That's why I got rid of this. I didn't... Dude, I'm like a Kobe... I'm a huge Kobe fan. I got his high school jersey and everything. Oh, I got Kobe's. I didn't know he signed with Adidas for. I'm. Uh, one, no, bro, that hurts me because that's my guy. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section. Should these be one? I mean. 
<laughs> they are pretty bad. I'm just trying to deny it because I love Kobe. Are they worse than uh these? Th okay, I think they're worse than these. Are they worse than these? I mean, okay. <laughs> Yo, they so bad. All right, they all right. No, they got number one right. They they got number one right. These are so bad. These are like a taxi cab, like a a white buzz, with like a jet. <laughs> The laces are in. Where do you where do you put the laces? Like, oh, these are bad. Oh man, these are so bad. But hey, man, <laughs> that's gonna wrap up this video. If y'all wanted to me start reacting to stuff, send me some videos on my DM on Instagram. Send me some requests. I check them out. But with all that being said, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.